So hello everybody, I'm from Portugal. I have been settled now in, near Tomar, somewhere in between Portugal and Lisbon. And um, I had these amazing symbols. Uh, you maybe have seen my post and uh, so I promise you to go a little bit in depth of um, the three symbols within the, the first symbol um, and also then of the fourth where there's two symbols for me in there and therefore the lack of the third which um, makes it something that's for me holy that's to be aspirable um, so the caduceus for me the, the original symbol of alignment between the horizontal and the vertical level huh? they're the three symbolisms of the masculine and the feminines they're both snakes and I think the snakes is, can be um, used to the good, to the constructive as much as to the destructive. And I think that's also the power of the snake. You know, we know the whole shadow area of the snake is poisonous. But also the, the snake poison used in small doses can also be um, an antidote or an healant. Um, so I think this is when you look at that and it's, you see it just for yourself how it has to be and I always say on, if you we look at the Christian cross right you have the two sides you have the horizontal level you have to the combination of sorting yourself out and, and letting go of the polarities between this masculine and this feminine there's only one line it's one energy it's just polar opposite opposites that define it that we can give it a concept with but let go of that and go into the middle of where it is because as soon as you go further apart the more drama has to play out huh? the more excessive um your whole life becomes in your own projections um, so go into the middle and it becomes calmer and so on. And in, you, in the middle, you also, you always use the best of both worlds. But what happens in the middle is like when you meet the vertical, the alignment position. It's like you would stand in front of um, an elevator. And you know when you press the button because you suddenly have been in, right, in the right place. I mean, in front of the elevator, you press the button. And then what in general happens, it takes a while till the door opens. And it's exactly that drag or delay of things that is so crucial. Why it is so difficult for us to ascend. Because we have to learn and we have to um, teach ourselves to hold the capacity to be in that point. Right? To have at that zero point, at that sacred union point, where we can then press. And then we have to stay there. There's no point if we stay and press the button and we get delayed. We get dragged out onto the feminine side, onto the masculine side. And away from this point, we don't, we're not there anymore when the, when the door finally opens. So it is really, really important to be able to hold that and have a capacity to be in the moment of flow at that point and hold that point. Uh, and that point is alignment. That point is the alignment with thy will. That's the needle that's going through. That's the point at the needle, at the small, very small needle. And you know, if you want to attach to that, you have to point a very small thread. And you know how it is when you just you put some uh, of, of your... Uh, saliva on it too and then you have to get it through that so it, there is a very narrow path of alignment to thy will huh? uh, thy will be done thy kingdom shall come uh, that's the alignment and of course the alignment with the bird up on top the eagle is the higher perspective is our higher selves we only find that balance that flow that heaven on earth that paradise in our life when we bring together this holy trinity this is for me um always this kind of symbolism that something suddenly happens naturally uh, this is for me the point is if you own up to that if you the father the son and the holy spirit we're all one right or christ said the father and i are one and you and me are one okay so my higher self the christ being within me the Father, God in heaven, or huh? Um, and me, myself. It's actually all one, but can we get that into alignment? 
And the alignment that we're called is through our polarity, our duality of things, black and white. And can we use that, that color scheme of black and white and all the colors in between it um, to maneuver, to position ourselves into alignment of whatever our alignment is? We're all Christ. And we all have a different reference point that we find alignment in. I mean, this is the amazing thing of how this chaos works, how nature works. The bee has to play the bee and the mosquito, the mosquito and um, whatever. The, the, the fox has to play the fox. And when they all do that, in that magic alignment of themselves, then everything suddenly is in equilibrium and works in harmony and balance. Huh? It's our judgment. It's like, oh, but the one eats the other. This part of life. That's the way how it is. But we, we'll, we, we are our Christ consciousness. We are our own Christ being in the moment when we align ourselves with the higher selves. And the Caduceus is really showing all of that. Well, we are in our higher self. Through that, we basically sit at that small little entrance gate. And that is tiny, the narrow path. Uh, that very few can walk. And that's where it, it is to be found, the alignment. And then it goes away. And, and the, the real beautiful thing is in so many relationships, we see that, or in our industries, like, of course, the, the, the industry and the trade has used this symbol for themselves, to use that power that's in there um, and made it their own. But... When we look back, that we have masculine and feminine, we have men and we have women, yeah? without taking it too strictly, because every woman has a masculinity and every man has the femininity to a hundred percent in them, not just partly, yeah? but in its core, we are made in the equal picture of God. So therefore, I have a hundred percent of femininity and hundred percent of masculinity in me. I have a hundred percent of the totality of life's experience inside of me. The femininity is the experience. She gives life. She gives meaning to our life. Right? To our, for this we need to have consciousness. Consciousness and presence for the moment that I live through now. So th when these come together. Um, so we have the masculine that is structure and order um, and going for safety. Uh, to make it safe and then you have chaos you have all the experiences the world can offer infinite experiences of, of matter everything in, in, in substance and uh, it's like it's just there so use it so then what happens is then this this movement we go now into the second symbol in the second um, picture where suddenly the bird flies off the bird, the higher perspective, goes out of the window. And someone, in general, the, the masculine, decides, you know what? Wow, I can do something. My will be done. My kingdom shall come. Wow, that works. And if I put my will and my ego at it, then I can get out of the flow and I can create for myself. I can play God, basically. And, and then this is what happens. Huh? And, and I think this is so amazing. And that access point where we find the alignment suddenly goes away too. And the entanglement goes more and more unbalanced. And it goes out of synchronicity. Um, and a dominance suddenly creates itself. We're using the femininity um, suddenly for fuel. We have gone into our own will. This is the fall from grace. This is the fall out of Eden. Uh, we suddenly have gone into our old will. I'm a bee and suddenly I said, you know what? At the moment, the mosquitoes get much more attention, image, um, admiration, attention from the world or money and power from the world. So everybody wants to be this. So it's like I do this. Even though I have been destined in my Christ experience and my Christ being here on earth to be a bee. So if then suddenly my will comes in it, my ego steps in and, and says the experience is all there. 
So, and use the world for your own peril. That's what Jesus said. That's what stands in the Bible. Make the world um, to your servant and use the experiences, the femininity to there. So what we then use, we use that feminine symbol that actually allows us to stay nicely harmonized and balanced and equilibrium. We use that as fuel. So we rape it. We're starting to take it for our own purpose. And we, for, so that we can use it, we have to oppress it. We have to somehow get sure that I use it for the way how I want it. Even though the feminine, the experiences that are there for us, they have different things. They want to come through, but we suppress them. We, we get them um, into our will. And when that happens, then we lose the alignment and with the alignment then because i've gone into my will i have suddenly this this s that is there um that's the money that's the power and then i use because one one line is always very unstable and you know as soon as you put two lines the same with a railway or a railroad with a with a train there suddenly goes on two rails and suddenly there happens there's a sense of stability there and sustainability and and um and this is what you have to do you then sacrifice for all of the experience for all of the femininity within life that gives life uh, she is the one who gives life the experiences in life and but what we do is we blink at them because we focus them on having a having made a pact with the devil with money with power so our will and our will is based around power being better than the other or whatever huh? and, and this means as soon as we do that as soon as we go away from this unconditional love of you are a bee. And I say, no, 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 I'm not a bee. No, 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 I have to work the whole day. And it's like that being is like, no, no, no. I go a mosquito, right? Um, or I become a butterfly. It's much more beautiful or whatever. It's like, and, and soon in that moment, you go away from the alignment. You don't see the bigger picture of what serving in the world really means. You can only serve the world, not by pleasing others. Right, But you can only serve the world by being who you are meant to be. Because our equilibrium is based on our own Christ being, about our purpose of who we are. And if we do this, everything gets back to order. But if everybody wants to try to be a lawyer, then this becomes an issue, right? Because there's only so many lawyer jobs that could fulfill that and the prices are sinking because thousands of lawyers are there and huh? so this is what i always describe with this christ being and when we align um ourselves with my will instead of thy will then i make the pact with the devil because then i suddenly have to work against the environment against nature against the experiences that are naturally there that are working that should actually work for me not against me you remember the universe is always there to work for us it was it is set as paradise as heaven on earth so but if we then divert from that and go no 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 i'm i'll show you i'll, I'll do my will then suddenly there will be certain resistance and that resistance um, will show up in all sorts of ways. Yeah, you maybe gain naturally money, but isn't that exactly the crooks and that we're now transcending, trying to transcend in the Aquarian age? Yeah? Um, this is what it's all about. If we stay aligned to thy will, if we stay aligned to uh, morals and ethics, and for me, my, I don't believe, I know that God is there because I had certain experiences in my life that I can't say that I believe in it. I just know that it's there and that's, that's the way. And I'm 
that creative power in it. So can I live by it? But can I let go of um, creating dollars, creating money, creating power? Because then if I have that and once I have done that, I need to apply continuity, continuation um, and further growth. And that is the pact with the devil. Because nature is always in flow and never, it's never um, static. It flows. And the most beautiful of, of phrases I like to use at the moment is like, yeah, the truth of the morning is the lie of the evening. But if you have made the pact with the devil and you have decided that the highest priority is power, is money, um, then you have to also ensure continuation of it. Because there's no point of having today money and tomorrow nothing. That's the safety and security aspect that the mind, my will, the ego, uh, ultimately has um, set out for himself. So if I go my will, I have to control it with every single tool and every single ounce of energy that I have. This becomes the primary um, focus. But otherwise, it's just living the life of who you're meant to be and allowing the universe work for you. Huh? So what you seek is seeking you. It's like the bee and the flowers are never far off and the honey neither. And the community that the bees create and so on. So I think this is, this is really, really cool. And it just shows so naturally in relationships, for example, between the male and the female the male is the control and is trying to use the power of the female yeah, the experiences the life force that it has the juiciness the emotions and so on um, and she uses that as as fuel and it aligns it with its will and that's the, the stronghold of, of power and then suddenly um, it becomes a very lonely thing because actually the other one is not eye to eye anymore as it was in the first symbol where the two snakes had their own part and they were in and out right they were on the right hand path and they were on the left hand path and they were equally aligned and they were holding with that that part of where I can be aligned and where I can transcend into a higher realm into a higher self but there's only the lower self if I go into the ego, into my will, and that's power. I sometimes need to be more powerful than the other. Otherwise, what is there in power? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I look forward to hear your perspective of it and then of course eh, there's nothing wrong about money and so on and it's like it's the way how our world works but we're off this world but not from it so do we live via money or do we live actually through something much more powerful a natural order that fuses everything together where everything has been given to us individually but do we have the faith and the belief um, to follow our path and getting rid of all the ideologies, the identifications um, of who we have become so that we can turn back to who we truly are? Go back into alignment. Allow the femininity to come back as an equal member to the masculinity. To show up and give it all the space that she deserves. A hundred percent of her space. As much as a hundred percent of the masculine it is for the masculine. Yeah? And then go back into alignment. Stop taking from the experiences that are there. But be happy with whatever experience shows up. Um, because we don't have to take more than we have to. Because it's everything given to us. My will means I take more. Um, that what is given to me and take it away from taking it more than I need is taken away from others 
to create stability, to create power. So this is where the dollar symbol comes in, the manifestation of matter. But ultimately it's not matter, but it's what matters. Isn't that the truly thing? And what matters is to play our part within the greater picture of all. Because that's how nature works. That's how the godly realm of heaven on earth is. It's perfectly in balance. It's in equilibrium. Everything is in harmony. But for this we all have to play our part and find the Christ being within us. Who did the Buddhists say is like, who are you? This is the only question. Christ says like, or Jesus Christ said in the Bible it says like, know thyself. Get to know thyself. This is the highest regard. Because that only then you create the higher um, self, the understanding of who are you in your higher self. And with that you find your alignment. And with that heaven on earth comes back. And you don't have to create money and power because everything will be given to you. Why wouldn't it be any other way if we are made in the equal picture of God? Not to come here and to work, but to receive. Isn't that the price? And the receiving is the feminine. It's life's experiences. As they're infinitively there and there for us. So can we say yes to that? To our greatness? Let me know what you think. I look forward to be in connection with you guys. Bye-bye.